So you went and met with your caseworker at vocational rehab today to talk to her about what? Talk to her about CEI, about what they're doing to the clients they have, and see if they can see if, they, see if she can talk with her supervisor about pulling me from the agency, and I guess they're not, so... I guess they said we, I signed a contract with them, so I don't know what that's all about. And how long have you been going to CEI? Since February? February? Mm -hmm. February? Yeah, February. So it's about the first of the year. Yeah, about the first of the year. And have they found you a job? No. Nope. Have they taken you to any interviews? Lisa has when she worked there, but that's it. Everything was going fine until, until they started messing with the employees, started letting them go, started firing them, you know, and that's when it all started breaking up, you mm -hmm. know. So vocational rehab sends money to CEI to give you for transportation. Right, and for interviews, for interviews. And when's the last time you received money from CEI? See, I think it was what, March, April? March, April. And this is August now? Mm hmm. It seemed like they weren't concerned about it, you know. It was that they, they said, they, she said that they, the reason why they send them the money is to give to me to out for interviews on jobs for uh, transportation. $25 to get a bus pass each, each month. I told him, I said, look, I've been taking the best fare out of my money, going out and getting, my, getting applications to fill them out because CEI isn't doing what they're supposed to do. Like, you know, they're the ones that's supposed to contact me. They're supposed to set up the meetings with, uh, inter, uh, come out and take me. One of the clients who was so threatened and intimidated by one of the CEI workers that the client actually called the police on the CEI worker. And what did your vocational rehab person say about that? They said they didn't hear anything about it or know anything about it and told me not to be involved in anything like that. Did they make you feel like it was just a one-time incident or that it didn't even happen? It was like, it didn't, it just like, they didn't really care, you know, what was going on with the, the CEI. Did you feel like Elise was understanding what you were saying to her? Um, I think they were just trying to get out of it and to kind of not get me out the door, like type thing. <laughs> Trying to hurry it along, you know, her and her supervisor, but I felt. You no, know, you're just trying to blow her off. Like well, you could put it that way, but I'm being nice. No, I'm just going to put it that way because the way they're doing it, that, they want to act like there's a pro this problem that didn't exist. Right. Well, we didn't get a call about it. We didn't, nobody told us about it, you know, so I guess it what didn't really matter. You know, it didn't, London didn't involve them. I guess, I guess they don't really care. Did she say she didn't even believe you at first? Huh? Did she say she didn't Yeah, I guess they didn't believe me. You know, I felt like, well, you know, if I'm coming to you and I'm concerned about CEI, you know what they're going to do with the next person, with disability, what are they going to do with them? Do the same thing to them? You know, like, excuse me, I come to you to see what you guys know would do about it. But I guess nothing. And what did she say about unions? It was like a disease or something when I showed him the book that you gave me. I took it with me in your name. I said, here's what, who she's with. Like, you didn't want to touch it or anything. Here, you can have it back. You know, like that's awesome. <laughs> it's like a disease or something. Like here, you can have it back. We we don't have no. We we don't we don't want to be involved in this. It's just like okay, <laughs> like that's great. <laughs> it's like a disease. Like <laughs> hand it right back here. You can have this. Like.
like, okay, I'll take it back. No problem. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Did you felt like they were discouraging you from working together with other people to make things better? I guess they was going to make me feel discouraged. You know, I think that's what they were, they were getting at. You know, but who's going to get hurt in it? You. Who's going to get hurt in it? You. You know, like put me in the middle of it, you know, like, I'm going to be the one getting hurt, you know, if I get involved with everybody. I don't know why they said that, you know, because mm -hmm. I think we're trying to better, better it, make it more, better for all of us than what they're doing. And you said you handed the union literature to a guy? Was there somebody Her else? Her supervisor. He handed it right back like it was a disease or something. Because here, we don't want this. We don't, can't get involved in this. Got to think I'm quite tight. It's protecting people with disability, you know? So yeah. at least the supervisor, was he there the whole time you were there? Did he hear all of it? Yeah, we were sitting at his desk. We were sitting in his office at his desk. <laughs> she was sitting here and I was sitting here and he was sitting right in his office. I don't know what they have against the union. You know, the union where my husband is and they protect their employees, even the disabled. They, they, they protect them. So what's wrong with the union getting involved with the disabled you know, like with both rehab and them, like, you know, that will help protect them and their job if they get one, you know? Mm -hmm. Then my grandfather always said, work with people that have union because they help you protect your job. So did she offer, like, maybe the names of any organizations or anybody that you could call to ask for help with this? No. They're completely staying out of it. They want, don't want nothing to do with it. Is there anything else that stands out about your your interview at VR today? No, not really. It's just I want to hurt and get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad, so disgusted. I didn't want them to see it or want them to sh show that sh show it that you know I'm really ticked off at them. You know, it's just that I think we need to go over their head about this.